Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part five of our series of session on release 3.0 features. We are covering the GST highlights. In the last video, we understood how with the advanced configuration under F11, we can enable reverse charge mechanism for a supplying dealer who will not charge GST. <clears throat> In today's video, we will learn how as a recipient of the services which fall under GST, how are we going to account those transactions and how are we going to be compliant with the RCM requirement in Tally Prime. So let us go to Tally and experience the feature of RCM in Tally. In the last video, we understood how RCM reverse charge mechanism is configured in Tally Prime as a supplier of listed services or goods under RCM. Now we will understand the treatment of RCM from the buyer's point of view. How are they going to account and be compliant of RCM as required? The buyer has to calculate tax liability as per the prescribed rate and make payment of the same and also can claim the amount of tax paid under RCM as input tax credit as long as they are used or intended to be used in the course of business. It is important for us to understand the law of GST for eligibility of claiming of ITC on RCM liability. To put it in a layman's word, not complicating with sections or subsections, the eligibility to claim ITC on RCM will be eligible only on payment of RCM liability. The RCM liability cannot be set off against RCM ITC which is input tax credit. To understand this, let me give an example. Notice the table here. In the month of April, let us say the output tax liability is 1000 and the liability on RCM is 200. So the total liability for the dealer for the month of April is 1200. Input tax credit available on RCM is 200 and other input tax credit on forward charge is 500. So the total input credit available is 700. Since the liability is greater than the input credit available, we have to set off the input credit on forward charge that is 500 needs to be set off against the output liability of 1000. The balance output liability is now 500. So the 500 in the normal output liability needs to be paid and since the input credit is lesser than the output liability, the ITC available on RCM cannot be claimed in this month. They have to make the payment of RCM liability of 200. So in the month of April, the dealer will pay 500 as the normal output balance amount and the 200 rupees of RCM. Now let us take the example of the month of May, where again, if the output tax liability is 1000 and in the month of May, there is no liability on RCM. So the total liability now is 1000. Now, since the liability of RCM is paid off in the previous month, the dealer is now eligible to claim input tax credit on the RCM input tax. Hence, the 200 of input credit is brought forward in the, sub in the subsequent month that is for the month of May and the input credit available on forward charge is 800. So 800 plus 200 is the total input credit available which will be set off against the liability of 1000 and for the month of May, the dealer is not going to pay any tax. Let us take the third use case scenario. In the month of June, the output tax liability is 1000, liability on RCM is 200 and the total liability now is 1200. Input credit available on the RCM is 200 and input credit available against forward charge is 1000. So this 1000 is set off against the output liability and since there is an input credit and the output liability here in this month, in the same month they can set it off and the result would be again they don't have to pay any cash payment towards the GST liability. 
I hope this gives clarity on creation of RCM liability and availing of RCM ITC. Now let us see how we can handle this in tally. Let us take the same example from the last video where a GTA who is registered under GST had opted for invoicing on RCM which means the GTA will not levy GST in their invoice which was demonstrated in the last video. Now as a recipient of that service which is freight charge the recipient dealer is going to account and tally first we will take the example of claiming itc where they are eligible to claim itc on rcm in the same month i have created a company where it says gst as rcm recipient and under f11 i have already enabled since we know this configuration so this is where is a regular dealer who has configured gst for his company and the GST rate is also set up by the regular dealer where his normal product majority of them is taxable at 18%. So this is the GST configuration at the comp level. Now this dealer is procuring a service which is freight charge from the GTA which falls under RCM. So let us create a ledger direct expenses. This is going to be under direct expenses and now this is important for us to configure here. The HSN we have to specify here, specify the detail here. We can specify the SAC for that particular service and then we can specify the description description as required now here again since the freight charge under rcm falls at the rate of five percent we have to now configure this at the ledger level so we are specifying this here this is going to be taxable and here we can specify this as system inferred so that you can use the same ledger for local and also for interstate keep this as system inferred and the rate of GST for this is going to be 5% enter. An important aspect that you have to configure now is that we have to mention that this ledger, the transaction pertaining to this ledger will fall under RCM. So how do we do that? Press F12 configure and you will see here there is this option called enable reverse charge calculation it is no here click here and then you set this as yes press control a and now we have this option here applicable for reverse charge it is no come here and then set it as yes and save it control a that's all the configuration is required for you to manage the rcm aspect let us now pass a entry the reference number is one two three four five date is first of april we are going to debit freight charges say ten thousand rupees enter and credit we have to credit the the gta so i'm going to create a ledger state will be karnataka regular dealer the gstn of the gta is entered here except and here we have to provide the gst detail press s here and then this is the party state is karnataka regular dealer gstn number supplier under Section 7 of IGST Act is basically we have to specify in case if this service is provided to a person outside India but whereas the billing is done to the recipient in India in that case we have to set this as yes so we are going to leave this as no the place of supply is Karnataka only enter and we will save this voucher now let us go to GST report and see the implication of this transaction though we had entered the journal entry without the GST tally is calculated the GST at the rate of 5% based on the configuration that we have set saying that it is falling under RCM. So the liability is also created and you will notice here under the input tax credit available 250 is also available as credit. This is a case where we are eligible to claim input tax credit in the same month as per the example that we saw earlier. Tally is now auto computed the RCM here. Now as you have to capture this information or record for your financial data you can also do so. How are we going to do that? If you notice here on the right hand side we have this option called adjustment click on stat adjustment and now we have to select the nature of adjustment so the nature of adjustment here is in the same month we are going to show the liability and also claim input tax credit so literally it is going to be zero liability so select here increase tax liability and input tax credit enter and what is the nature of adjustment for this the additional nature of adjustment is 
this is purchased under reverse charge from a registered dealer i'm going to enter here and the date is there so since we have created the common ledger to record itc we are going to say cgst what is the rate five percent and what is the taxable value ten thousand is the taxable value enter the amount is 250 then again debit sgst the value is the same 250 and credit since we don't have a separate ledger for cgst sgst as input and output we can do so tally will automatically recognize the input output for the compliance purpose so we are going to credit again cgst with 250 credit sgst again we are going to provide here and where we are going to say this is on account of the gta the supply the type of supply here is services and save this so this way we can account for rcm liability and claim rcm liability in the same month which is re already reflecting in the form and if you now view the the cgst ledger or the sgst ledger the values would have been captured but again the net liability is going to be zero so let's quickly view the tax ledger notice here the closing balance is zero because we have debited the input credit claimed input itc and also recorded the liability so again the same is going to be in the sgst ledger also so how do we see that just press f4 and select sgst and we will see the transaction also reflecting in our books of accounts now let us take the second use case where the dealer cannot claim input credit on rcm in the same month and the liability of rcm needs to be paid in the month where the rcm transaction has taken place and subsequently once the rcm liability is paid he can claim input tax credit in the subsequent month we will pass a transaction for the next month to see the impact in the return form. I'm going to change the date as 1st of May. Reference number, enter. And here again, we are going to say freight charges. This time we will say 20,000, enter. Then we are crediting GTA, provide GST detail. Again, the GTA, everything is there. What we have already selected earlier, you can just press accept control A and let us save this. Let's view the report. This is for the month of April. So we have to now shift for the month of May. So I'm going to press Alt F2, just type MAY and MAY enter. And we will now see here on 20,000, Tally is auto calculated the liability at the rate of 5% and also the input tax credit what we saw in the previous use case but in this case the liability has to be paid but input tax credit cannot be claimed in the same month which means now this input credit needs to be postponed so this should not reflect here since the liability only needs to be so how do we handle this again we come to stat adjustment here and we are going to say in this case now we are going to only account for the liability not the credit so we are going to say increase in tax liability enter again we are going to say purchase under reverse charge from registered dealer enter now here since we are not going to claim the input credit in the same month we will create a separate ledger put it under current asset so that the same can be claimed in the subsequent month or whenever it is eligible to be claimed so we are going to create a ledger called rcm itc credit itc available just for our understanding enter and this is going to be under current asset enter control a the total amount is 1000 so 1000 is what i'm going to debit here and now we are going to account for the liability so cgst enter the rate is five percent the taxable value is twenty thousand enter the amount is 500 again we are going to account for the sgst liability enter 500 provide the detail here this is on account of gta control a and then save this voucher if you notice now automatically the input tax credit which was reflecting earlier before passing the stat adjustment is removed so now for the month of may the dealer has to pay this liability of 500 cgst 500 sgst and then in the subsequent month he can claim this by passing a reversal entry so how is he going to pass a reversal entry click on start adjustment again type of duty ad adjustment is towards gst and now the nature of adjustment is increase in input tax credit 
so i'm going to select this what is the credit that we are claiming this is purchase under reverse charge from a registered dealer enter the date we are going to change this as 16 is the month where this is eligible to be claimed enter here and now we are going to debit cgst which is at the rate of 5% on 20000 the amount is 500 is the input we are going to claim now claiming sgst 500 and credit the rcm itc available ledger which we created under the current asset so now the balance under this becomes zero and we are now able to take this value there let's go to the month of june now we are in the month of may let us go to the month of june enter and now if you see in the month of june the 500 of cgst and 500 of sgst is already reflecting as my available input tax credit for the month of june which is eligible to be claimed as itc on rcm i hope this simple configuration of rcm and we witnessed how we can handle the rcm requirement by claiming the rcm in the same month as an itc and also how if the liability is greater than the input credit how can we account for the rcm itc and claim in the subsequent month in the next session we will explore it another advanced feature option under f11 and see how tally handles those requirement so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much